Women of Reddit. What is something that annoys you about other women? Mums who try and sign me up to some MLM scheme when I'm just trying to push my kid on the swing. I believe those are called Huns or Hans. Women that see everything as a competition. Those who aren't happy for your success just constantly evaluate if they are better than you. My ex used to nag on about this girl for simply talking about her achievements. I brought it to a stop by saying, what if she gets no appreciation anywhere from anyone and is suffering so bad that she has to appreciate herself out loud just to feel good about her actions, which mirrored my ex exactly as well. She immediately saw the relevance and felt bad. Well put, I'll use that. Grown women who still act like they're in the popular mean girl group at high school and the ones who need to talk s about absolutely everything and everyone. Like you're really letting your insecurity shine through there. When I started working in my office I thought, this is a professional environment. Everyone here will be very grown up and mature nope. How wrong I was. It's like a school playground most of the time. I was so thrilled to finally break into the corporate world with a real grown up job. I loved the way my heels would click clack on the tiled floor when I'd walk into the lobby. The heady rush of I belong here as I'd scan my ID badge. The sense of pride I had in my little cubicle, because I had finally made IT carrot trademark, only to cry in the car on my way home, because of mean girl cliquey behavior. Hey Whitney, if you see this, F you and your gaggle of basic b bobbleheads. Instagram moms, please stop pretending your mother of the year. We see you screaming at your children, while you're trying to take the perfect photo, designing your child's entire life around your preferred aesthetic. Kids toys are not home decor. They are tacky and clashy and stand out. But that's why kids like them. They have bright colors and lights and sounds. They play music. They are sparkly. They are cartoony versions of real things to spark a child's interest and imagination. Kids clothes are not high fashion. They are comfy and colorful and have cartoon characters on them. And kids can run around and play in them. This business of dressing your child and uncomfortable Restrictive mini-me outfits and supplying your child with plain toys only in a neutral palette is just sad and proves that the moms want a photo prop, not a child. Sad beige life for sad beige child. Writing love letters to convicted killers. Yes imagine being so self-obsessed to the point where you think your love is going to be able to fix a murderous psychopath. It's insane. That's exactly it. It's an irrational fetish often stemming from trauma or other mental illnesses. Plenty of people just pretend to like serial killers for attention, but there are people who genuinely have this fetish, and it's been documented for centuries. There's a name for it. I think it's something along the lines of hybristophilia. Gata keeping clothing. I'm not about to copy your entire outfit piece by piece. Home Gerald. I like your shirt and I want to know where it's from to see if they have other s I like. It's from Europe. Replied, it reminds me so much of an almost exact version I got from H&M back in high school. That would be a sick burn if I didn't come from a small town where I could only dream of H&M as some far off wonderland. Getting blood on the toilet seat and not cleaning it up. Not putting the pad slash tampons properly in the trash compartment. Poor janitor. I worked as a night janitor for a while in the early zeros. The women's bathrooms were far and away the last year. Like the men's room would have some pee on the floor around the urinal and toilet. But the women's room it would be all over the seats. The sanitary box would be packed full. And the waxed paper bag used as a liner would invariably be all the way down at the bottom of the box. Paper towels piled near the half empty trash can. It was wild. Completely agree. I worked at McDonald's when I was a student and the women's bathroom was definitely the worst. Don't understand how people can leave bathrooms behind like that. The baby change station included. The men's had some gross stuff as well. Like how are urinals covered in pubes? How? A girl I work with walked up to me yesterday and said why do you have a problem with insert other cowalker to which I responded that I have no issue with this person. I barely talk to this other person but I do genuinely like them. So I ask her who said I had a problem with anybody and she refuses to tell me because of integrity. So whatever you call that, that annoys me about other women. 
because it has happened with my female friends more than once. Not often but often enough for me to notice. Fishing to make up a story. S stirring. God why do people do this? Older slash more experienced women who give the younger women they work with a hard time because they had it so much worse slash because they went through it too. Like, I'm glad I wasn't in the professional world in the 80s and 90s. But it's so wrong of them to just keep the bullshit going. It still happens even now. A woman I knew said she wouldn't help me with the job search because no one helped her break into her career and I had to learn on my own. Ugh, I hate this attitude so much. It was hard for me, so it should be hard for you. How about we work to make things better slash easier for the next generation? We're in this together. It's not a ref competition. Way to pull the ladder up behind you. Ladies. SMH. Some girls are mean to other girls in a way that's almost romantic. It gets almost obsessive to a point that makes you question their real feelings. They probably have weird s going on at home. Some women take out their mom issues on other women. I had a very abusive mother. And I find sometimes I start to use the coping mechanisms I developed from my childhood with other people. Luckily mine is mainly stonewalling and distancing myself from them. So it doesn't read as crazy as other coping mechanisms do. But I try not to do this consciously. Forcing myself to have a conversation with someone that I would rather just avoid. Even if that conversation doesn't go well. If you give into a habit of stonewalling and avoiding everyone you end up not being able to do what you were there to do in the first place, like work or practice whatever hobby activity. But I've seen women who do that prove you love me thing to other women. By behaving badly then having a big breakdown because they need their best friend. Forcing the friend to forgive them and express affection, even though they were just being a total brat. That ss annoying. But I assume is from childhood issues too. Putting down other women in the hope that it will make them more attractive to guys. Just putting down other women full stop. This. I've dropped so many friends over the past few years just cause everything was always a competition. I want friends that cheer each other on. Not put you slash others down constantly. It's exhausting. Or pretend to have your best interests at heart and quietly try and sabotage your life because they are insecure and jealous. When a woman assumes that. As a fellow woman, I need to automatically agree and support her. I will absolutely listen, but in no way will I just agree with you because of some unsaid sisterhood you believe in. Women can be shitty people too, and I'm not consigning it. It's like criticism is synonymous with misogyny these days and some just don't want to be held accountable for anything. Did something horrible? Women support women. No critical thinking. It's all good. Yes. If you don't agree with shitty women you have internal misogyne. F that. Oh. And women with Highlander syndrome, just cause your boss in the 90s told you there could only be one woman on the team. Doesn't mean it's still true. And when it is. We should be working together to change that. Similar but slightly different dynamic. Queen Bee syndrome, when one girl. In an otherwise male social group. Is threatened by the idea of another girl joining the group and stealing the attention. I'm a woman with male dominated hobbies, and have come across this a handful of times. It's sad because, honestly, I'm usually way more interested in being friends with the girl than any of the dudes. Fortunately, there's also the inverse in which girls in male dominated hobbies thrive around other women, and get super excited whenever a new girl joins the group. Colon close bracket. Who are this reminds me of my friend's ex. If I saw her at the grocery store or school event she was perfectly pleasant. But at the kickball games, all guys plus her, and one other girl. She was f awful. Wouldn't even acknowledge you. Same at parties. When there was lots of booze and guys. She wanted to be the star of the show every time. Trying to talk other women into having negative emotions. Aren't you scared? You must be scared. I wouldn't let my daughter do that. Yes you were traumatized, and if you disagree you're brainwashed too. You must hate X. You're in denial. Apostrophe. This sounds like peak crab bucket mentality. My life is bad. So I'll drag you down to my level. Apostrophe. A Flirting with another woman's partner in front of them. Like I feel like a lot of men don't cross that line, when a girl is obviously with another guy. 
but this one girl kept touching my partner telling him how he must work out a lot, how strong he looked, etc. I think she mostly did it to get a rise out of me, but still annoying, and definitely not a one time occurrence. Guy here, we notice this, you don't get hit on by women, until you're with a woman. It's not that the woman hitting on you actually likes you, the dude, they just want to prove they're hotter slash sexier slash more attractive than the other woman you're with. If they successfully break you up, they will immediately stop giving a res about you. It's just embarrassing to be frank. Like is your self confidence that low you feel the need to do that to prove you're desirable? Those who post their best selfies and call themselves ugly so they can fish for compliments. I went through a phase at one point where I agreed with women when they did that. Yeah, you're right. Wouldn't have noticed if you hadn't pointed it out but holy fuck, got blocked. Totally worth it. Stealing this idea for particularly annoying people. How indirect they are. Like just f talk to me if you have a problem or if you think I have a problem with you. No need to be passive aggressive or talk to other people about shit. It's the worst if you're autistic. Apparently I have the male version of autism, so I don't count. This is a different rant. Multiple female cowalkers got mad at me and talked behind my back bc they asked me to do thing A when they wanted me to do thing B. Like tell me that in the first place. Oh that's terrible. I don't have autism, but I would still totally not understand that. Do thinger means do thinger, or just not telling about mistakes and expecting me to know and correct the behavior anyway. As you can tell by my Magneto was right t-shirt. I'm not Professor X and cannot read your damn mind. When a woman talks s about her significant other, girl, if you talk like that about the person who is committed to you and supposedly the closest person in your life, then what will you say behind my back? Honestly, I've had so many female relationships go sour because of mean girling, gossiping, two-faced, vindictive, and manipulative behavior. I won't deal with it anymore. I'm fine with my small circle, and I'm not putting anyone in my boat who is drilling a hole in it while I'm not looking. My first wife really fucked me up doing this. She surrounded me with all of her people, talked madness about me to them, and was like sweet and innocent. All these people hated me, and I had no idea why. For 10 years this went on. S broke me. The way they treat other mothless mothers can be some of the most vicious people I've ever seen in social media. I had a client who was in postpartum depression saying she felt listless asked for help in a social media group and the vast majority said she needs her kids taken away terrible mom so I decided to see was this a one time thing. Went to many mommy groups and holy s moms are assholes. Oh you bottle feed, abuse you let them cry too long, neglect, you pick them up after a single tear. Terrible mom building a narcissistic kid but all answers lead to you should have your kids removed. 